The Heartland Humane Society invited the media to their shelter last week to bring awareness to their situation, and they paint a grim picture. Board President Shelley Harvey explains. The purpose is to make awareness. People don't understand that we receive no state or federal money. We go on donations alone, and that is by community people. And other communities share it, but they donate money, they donate items. We, we just need awareness of all the animals that we have here and running around in the community. Jean Spohr has been a board member for a long time and says she can't remember a more difficult period for the shelter. Uh, I've been around a long time and we've always had issues as far as money, but this is the worst this has ever been because everything has gone up, of course, and it's like we've all said, it's the community doesn't realize all that we do. I mean, we serve a huge purpose and as they've said, if we weren't here, it would be horrific what would happen to the animals. Uh, I know in the past, as Shelley said, they would pick them up and put them down. And we've come a long way. We wanted this contract with the city. but And that's wonderful, we have it. But we need more. We know the county has put us in their budget for a small stipend, which we love. The small stipend Spore is referring to is the $1,000 Heartland Humane Society gets every year from Wapolo County. While Harvey says the board is grateful for any and all contributions, the amount they need to operate comfortably during an average month is much more than the stipend. $20,000. What, you know, maybe five from the city, ten from the city, ten from the county. I, we need something. I mean, we're, we appreciate every dollar people give us, but you know, we're helping the city, we're helping the living conditions. And the county. And the county. Can't we get something from them? Other counties and cities do. If things don't change financially, the shelter could be shut down by the end of 2019. The board believes that would bring about dire consequences. Harvey had this final plea to Wapolo County residents. Please spay and neuter. Yeah. Please come out here and volunteer. You know, oh, please when you adopt an animal, that is a lifetime commitment. That is not two weeks and it's not going to work. It's a lifetime commitment. Yeah, they take a lot of work. If you don't want to make that commitment, don't do it. Leave them here. In the meantime, the Heartland Humane Society will continue to provide a service they feel is vital to the community. Time will tell whether local officials feel this service is valuable enough to support financially. For Atomic Radio News, I'm Ellis Kojo.